Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about per unit system. Per unit system is defined as the ratio of actual value in any unit to the base value in the same unit. Uh, per unit values are sometimes expressed as a percentage rather than a ratio. The base values can be selected arbitrarily. The per unit value is unitless. Per unit system provides the value for voltage, current, power, impedance. So the equation we're going to use for, to find the per unit is actual value divided by the base value. Meaning, if you're looking for the per unit voltage, the per unit voltage is equal to actual voltage divided by the base voltage. So similarly, if the if you're going to compute for the actual voltage, that will be the per unit voltage multiplied by the voltage. The same thing with per unit current. Per unit current is equal to actual current divided by the base current. The same thing, actual current is equal to per unit current multiplied by the base current. So let's have some practice problems. Uh, for number one, a 400 ohms resistor carries a current of 60 amperes. The following base values are 4 kV as base voltage, 500 kilowatts as base power, 125 ampere as base current and 32 ohms as base impedance. Calculate letter A, the per unit resistance, B, the per unit current, C, the per unit voltage across the resistor, D, the per unit power dissipated in the resistor, and E, the actual voltage and power of the resistor. First, we're going to write the given. The given, RR is equal to 400 ohms. The base voltage is 4 kilovolts. Current is 60 amperes. The base power is 500 kilowatts. The base current is 125 amperes. And the base impedance is 32 ohms. The problem is asking us to solve for the per unit resistance, per unit current, per unit voltage, per unit power, and the actual voltage and the actual power of the Resistor. So we're going to demonstrate the solutions for the problem. So for the per unit resistance, so the 400 ohms will be divided by the, the base impedance of 32 ohms, and you will get 12.5. For the per unit current, the, the equation for per unit current is equals to 60 amperes, which is the actual current, divided by the base current of 125 ampere, and you will get 0 0.48. So remember, there is no unit for the per unit uh, resistance or per unit current. So for letter C, for the per unit voltage, so using Ohm's law, per unit voltage is equals to per unit current multiplied by the per unit resistance and substitute the values, and you will get uh, six for the per unit voltage. For the per unit power, using the power formula, per unit power is equals to per unit voltage multiplied by the per unit current, then substitute all the given values, then you will get 2.88 for the per unit power. For the actual voltage, the actual voltage is equal to per unit voltage multiplied by the base voltage. So the actual voltage is equal to six multiplied by 4,000 and you will get 24 kilo volts for the actual voltage. For the actual power, the actual power is equal to per unit power multiplied by the base power and you will get 1.44 megawatts. Practice problem number two. The base impedance and base voltage for a given power system are 10 ohms and 400 volts respectively. 
calculate the base KVA and the base current. So let's just write again the given. The given are base impedance equals to 10 ohms and the base voltage is equals to 400 volts. We are asked to solve for the base KBA and the base current. So using our equation, the base KBA is equals to V squared divided by the base impedance. Substitute the values, 400 squared divided by 10, and you will get 16 KBA for the base KBA. And for the base current, that is uh, base voltage divided by the base impedance, we have 400 volts divided by 10 ohms, and you will get 40 ampere. So for problem number three, the base current and base voltage of the system are chosen to be 3,000 amperes and 300 kilovolts respectively to determine the base impedance and the per unit voltage for the system. So again, we're going to write the given. The given are the base current is, is equals to 3,000 amperes and the base voltage is equals to 300 kilovolts. So we are asked to solve the base impedance and the per unit voltage of the system. So using our equation, the base impedance is equals to base voltage divided by base impedance and substitute the values, uh, 300 kilovolts divided by 3000 and we will get 100 ohms for the base impedance. And for the per unit voltage, the actual value or the actual voltage divided by the base voltage, you will get 345 kilovolts as given in the problem divided by the 300 kilovolts. So 345 kilovolts is the actual voltage and the base voltage is equals to 300 kilovolts and you will get 1.15 per unit. So for problem number four, the percent values of the voltage, current, impedance, and volt amperes for a given power system are 90, 30, 80, and 150 percent, respectively. The base current and base impedance are 60 amperes and 40 ohms, respectively. Calculate the actual values of the voltage, current, impedance, and volt amperes. First, we're going to write again the given. The per unit voltage is 90 percent, so that is we're going to convert it into decimal, which is equals to 0 0.9. The same thing with the per unit current, that will be 0 0.3. The per unit impedance is 0 0.8. The per unit KBA is, uh, I mean, BA is 1.5. The base current is 60 amperes, and the base impedance is 40 ohms. So we are asked to solve the actual values for voltage, current, impedance, and the volt ampere. So let us try to solve the following using the our equation for per unit, which is equals to actual voltage divided by the base voltage. So manipulating our equation, the actual voltage will become the per unit voltage multiplied by the base voltage and the base current is also equal to base voltage divided by the base impedance so solving for the base voltage first the base voltage is equals multiplied by the is equals to base current multiplied by the base impedance so 60 amperes multiplied by the by 40 ohms and you will get 2400 volts so the actual voltage is equals to per unit voltage multiplied by the base voltage we solved earlier. So substitute the, the values for these uh, components that will be 0 0.9 multiplied by the 2,400. You will get 2,160 volts, actual value for the uh, voltage. The same thing with uh, actual current that is equals to per unit current multiplied by the base current. So that is 0 0.3 multiplied by 60 amperes and you will get 18 amperes. 
Actual impedance is equal to per unit impedance multiplied by the base impedance that is 0 0.8 multiplied by 40 and you will get 30 ohm, 32 ohms for the actual impedance. For the actual VA, our equation will be per unit VA multiplied by the base VA. So we're going to find solve first for the base VA. So using our equation, uh, base VA is equals to uh, base voltage to be squared divided by the base impedance. Uh, substitute the, the values that is 2,400 to be squared divided by 40, and you will get 144 kBA. So substituting these values to our original equation, the actual BA is equals to 1.5 multiplied by the 144 kBA base BA. So you will get 216 kBA for the actual BA or actual volt ampere. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and click the bell button for the for more wisdom videos. Thank you very much, and see you again next video.